Welcome back. And today we are going to talk to you about turning $5 into 25 in seconds. So the purpose of this lesson is to show you what the beauty of accessory upsells are. Now, what this is going to talk to, what I'm going to talk to you about is the purpose of this lesson is to take accessory sales, which typically costs less than $10 and to turn it into 25. Typically, I find a lot of things like screen protectors, tempered glass, things of that nature, about $5. And it's relatively easy <clears throat> to have those things in hand to increase your sales. All right, so it's pretty simple, okay? All you have to do is have, let's take for instance, tempered glass, cases, things of that nature. It's a complimentary sale. People are getting their phones repaired and then the last thing they want to do is walk out that door and have that happen to them again. So this is a ridiculously easy upsell and it's something as simple as just for asking for it. And I think that's the biggest mistake that most people make is they have accessories and things available, even storefronts, they have them displayed. But what they don't do is they don't ask the customer. You know, they think just because they have them displayed, they're gonna sell themselves, but that's definitely not the case. And then if you're mobile, Again, you may have these in your backpack or whatever, or in your you know, van or whatever you're doing, or if you're home base. If you're not asking for the sale, how do they know that this is even available? <clears throat> and if you don't have accessories, you need to actually bring them on because this, when we talked about the 10, 10, 10, or excuse me, the 30, 30, 30, 10 rule, this is what's gonna drive that profit margin up and your cost of goods down, okay? So again, Profit margin up, cost of goods down because you're doing accessory sales. It's something that costs five dollars. You know, not everything. You know, you can sell it sometimes more than twenty-five. I just use that as an example and as a baseline. You know, there's definitely things out there. You can even outsource. There's so many accessories, so many accessories. And let's go into some of the strategies. You can have a lot to choose from because there's so much out there and have variety. Now, if you're a storefront and you're in a high traffic area. Sometimes people might even come in just to buy accessories. But also too, this is a complimentary good for the cell phone repair service as well. So that strategy, having a lot to choose from is great. Now again, on the flip side of that, if you don't have a whole lot of space or you're working from home or mobile, less actually can be more. And the reason why I say that is because if you just have a couple of products to focus on and really understand that product and really understand how to sell it, you could actually sell more. And let me give you an example. My area is, I would say, some of my locations is a seek you out location. I don't get a whole lot of foot traffic. The reason why I get business is because I advertise for it, I market it, and things of that nature. People find me because they're looking for cell phone repair. Okay, so the people that come in, it's strictly for cell phone repair and cell phone repair only. So I have quite a few accessories in my store, but what I found with employees is if you have them focus on a couple of key products, they actually tend to sell more accessories or sell that particular product that you focus on more because it's a focal point and it's easy to train, it's easy to set up um, a sales script, which we'll get into as well in some other uh, lessons. And that's why sometimes less can be more because you can focus on one thing and you can focus on pushing that one particular product which for example, the tempered glass product, I came up with a nice little wrap around. Again, I think I've talked about this about two or three times. Um, I sell tempered glass like crazy. And literally, if you buy it in bulk, it costs a dollar. It's so cheap. So, and the reason why it sells so much because we focus on it, we put a real initiative behind it and our profit margins have gone up and we've drove the cost of goods down because of selling accessories, okay? So it's, a, it's an extremely minimum, minimum investment to get started if you want to start off with tempered glass or screen protectors. Like screen protectors alone, I think now you can pick up for about 25%, or excuse me, 25 cents, and you can sell still for $15, $20. I mean, think about, think about the profit margin in that and, and how low the cost of good is on that and how much of a minimum investment. You can, probably, you can pick up literally you know, 100 of them for next to nothing and get started. And then you can use that focus on one thing. Or you can do tempered glass, which costs you a dollar, you know, and devise a sales tactic around that and uh, a sales script to where you can push more. 
So this one is relatively easy. Literally, you can turn about five dollars into twenty-five. You can turn a dollar into twenty-five. You can turn ten bucks into fifty bucks. I mean, it is so easy. All you got to do is ask. It's such an easy complimentary good, and just have them available. Even if it's just one accessory, have it available. You already have that customer there. Capitalize on that. Increase your sale. Increase your profit margin. Ask for the sale. So get started on this tomorrow.